I am Jeffrey Kluger, author of Apollo 8 and editor-at-large at Time Magazine. I'm John Sterling, the editor of Apollo 8. Jeff, most students of the Apollo program agree that uh, 8, 11, and 13 are the three most important missions. You wrote the book on Apollo 13, so you know all about that mission, and everyone knows about Apollo 11, uh, the first uh, time humans ever walked on the moon. Um, why is Apollo 8 included in this crucial trio? Um, I would say Apollo 8 is not only included, in some ways it's the greatest among equals. Look, it's absolutely true that Apollo 11 marked the first time human beings ever touched another world. Um, and Apollo 13 was the great tale of inspiration and survival that it became. But Apollos 11 and 13 were both going to a place we'd been before, the moon. In the case of Apollo 8, humanity was, for the first time, wrenching itself free of the gravity well of our planet, a planet within which we have lived, on which we have lived since the beginning of humanity, tearing out and flying through the true deep waters of space to another world, surrendering to the gravity field of that world circling that world. When Apollo 8 arrived at the moon, it wasn't just that the astronauts became the first people to see the far side of the moon. Robot spacecraft had seen it, but human eyes had not yet. Apollo 8 and its crew became creatures not just visiting the moon, but creatures of the moon. And when you hear the crew at some almost casual toss-off moments say things like it makes you realize what you have on earth addressing the people back on earth as if that's your world and even if just for this 20 hours we're orbiting the moon this is our world that's what made that mission not just historic i think but epical